welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. Uh, today we will be launching another mission to the moon. Um, this mission will hopefully go smoother than our last and our main objective is going to be to make sure that not only do we hit somewhere other than the Midlands but we're gonna leave evidence this time that we had landed on the moon instead of just our shattered hopes and dreams as we had uh, fallen over during our last ascent. Uh, we'll get this mission underway. We are flying effectively the same rocket as last time, although we did make two small changes. The first, we have added a docking bar to the top of our rocket. We used to have our top parachute. And we have also added an extra set of flight tickets around our first set of liquid boosters. These will hopefully leave us with a little bit of extra fuel in our main stage here to allow us to select a better landing site. Our moon is not in as good of a position as it was the last time we launched, but it's not in a particularly bad position either. Right, here we go. Um, As you can see, the moon is just now starting to rise which is when we would want to start to burn prograde to intercept it. So that's what we'll do even without our mission plan. However, um, it appears that we crossed our threshold and that extra weight we added actually did not um, result in us using more fuel. Uh, having more fuel for when we make it to the moon. I actually, I actually believe 
that uh, we added more weight than we added thrust, and um, well, we didn't add any thrust, but time from that thrust, and uh, as such, we are actually penalizing ourselves. So for our next iteration, we'll go ahead and take those extra fuel tanks off. Go ahead and figure out what we would need to do in order to get on an intercept course. Um, where we weren't in a docking orbit, launching right when we saw the moon is not going to lead us to the intercept that I was hoping for. which, uh, you know, is upsetting anytime we make those kinds of rash judgments, which I realize that the more of these I do, the, the more rash my judgments seem to get. I have three minutes to sort out this burn. And I'm really not doing too good of a job with it. There we go. That was it's closer to what I wanted. Still, we're hitting it on the return stroke, which is very strange for me.
think that's going to be what we're going to go for. Once we get on track for that. Granted, it's telling me my burn's only going to take seven seconds, and I just don't think that that's accurate. our mission parameter from attempting to do a second landing on the moon to doing our first landing on Minmus. And uh, for some reason, we have overburned it, I guess, um, which is going to be problematic because I don't have that much fuel. To be making these correction burns, and I also don't have that much fuel for slowing us down when we get around it. So we're starting at 592. We're going to drop that to 565. Eighty five, one fifty one, one twenty eight, one oh two, eighty, nineteen, Nineteen with a free return course back to Kerbin, which would be pretty good uh, if we were just trying to do another flyby. Um, but that's what we're going to go for. That's what we're going to try. Thirty-one minutes and thirty-eight seconds until that burn, um, and then any fuel we have left over is going to be to try to get onto an intercept and slow us down as much as possible. On the plus side, um, landing on Minmus, the, the gravity is so low that it's it's not as, as terrible and our small engine will do a, a lot better. Um, so there's, there's always that at least to look forward to. And we screwed that up. by a lot because we're dumb
Ah, uh, that sucks because now that was a hundred meter per second maneuver, and now it's much more than that. Two seventeen. That looks like a collision course with 109. Four times the fuel, well, three and a half times the fuel that we were originally planning. All because I am just awful at time dilation. Two minutes. 130. Okay. This time I did it too early, but it should still be okay. I uh, used up most of my fuel for this stage. really going to be in a world of hurt if this does not go as planned, but I mean how could it not go as planned? Uh, well for instance right now it says that that did not go as planned. Um, we actually overshot our mark. I wish these controls were a bit more precision oriented. A freeform camera would also be pretty cool. Two point three meters per second. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Forty seconds, thirty seconds, twenty seconds, five. Now it does not know whether or not we are going to crash, which is fine with me. Um, and 20 minutes in, we now have our destination. I'll slow this down real quick. Um, a reminder, when we were in space low last time, we forgot to do our mystery goo observation, so this is an opportunity for that.
So it has decided we are going to crash. Well, crash is such a strong word. Intercept into Minmus. There's the moon, there's Kerbin, there's Minmus. Moon, Kerbin. Minmus. Let's go ahead and get into position here. Um, thankfully I realize that I've been burning my engines, um, but I did not deploy my solar panels, so that would have been foolish. Okay, uh, looks like we are headed for the light side of the body, which is good. Although we are falling at 200 meters per second, we're not picking up speed very fast, which is good, because I do not have a lot of fuel. Um, it looks like our current, our currently defined landing zone is uh, a bit rocky. That's okay. We're not going to worry about that stuff. Two hundred, hundred and fifty kilometers. 90 kilometers. Seventy kilometers. Still only three hundred meters per second. Which is nothing really. The uh the gravity here is actually weak enough that with a small craft the RCS engines are enough to pull you into orbit. Up, oh, still technically high over Minmus. So we'll reset that experiment. Uh, when we get down to about 20, we'll try once more before launching our engines. In space near Minmus, go ahead and keep that data. We're going to do an EVA real quick. Uh, apparently we're still above the Midlands. We're going to go ahead and get in. We're going to do our deorbit burn now. Still plenty of fuel remains. Let's go ahead and drop our landing gear. It appears that officially we are above the Midlands still, but I will just check. Oh, technically we are above the slopes. Does not bode well for landing, but that's all right. Uh, we're going to fall very gently. Very, very gently towards the planet. Our, the celestial body. Jebediah, excited. This will be the third celestial body he has walked upon this week. Um, and that will actually be the third he has walked upon. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll stick with this week. Pretty exciting stuff. Um, we really don't want to crash or land with all of these engines still here. Um, and I also don't want to waste the fuel if I don't have to to get rid of it. So we're going to take it in nice and slow. And that's just going to be the price of doing this uh, 
quote unquote doing it right. I maintain that nothing so far about this mission has gone exactly as planned, but that's that's par for the course. Do one more EVA. Doesn't appear. Oh, we already got the highlands, um, which is good. I'd much rather land on the highlands than on the slopes, as it were. Though if I'm close enough to the slopes, I might actually be able to get a sample. Uh, seven kilometers up now. Still technically in orbit. Five kilometers. There's our shadow. Still at five kilometers, approaching those slopes. Jebediah, absolutely ecstatic. I just really don't want to have a repeat of last time of uh, falling over as we land. Looks like we are on a bit of a slope though. We're going to couple that loose. Thirty meters. Confused why it says that we are still falling in this direction when it appears we are not. That's going to be bad. That's going to be very bad. This is much more slopey than I was anticipating. Um, yeah. We're going to try something a little bit different here. We're going to quickly roll ourselves over. We're going to switch to docking mode. Whew. Yeah. Exactly as we planned it. Holy crap. So, that is two sideways landings 
by our good friend Jebediah. Ah, oh, God. We need to get a lot better at this. This craft is very top-heavy compared to the ones I normally make. Um, but, hey, we're, we're surviving, and <laughs> at least we've built it into the flight plan now. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to log that temperature from the slopes. Now we're going to go ahead, um, we're going to do our material pay again from the slopes I'm going to do a crew report from the slopes no atmosphere to speak of oops Try that again, let it let out. Okay, he is screaming. We get that from the slopes for 150 science. We're gonna get an EVA report. 40 science. We're gonna plant our flag. This is going to be from the Minmus slopes. All right. First thing we're going to do, we're going to retract these. Next thing we're going to do is attempt to roll our craft into a position a bit more conducive to standing up here. Oh, it helps if I have the proper controls for what I'm doing here. Little known fact, this is actually how uh, Apollo 12 landed. Pete Conrad not, not really up to snuff on the landing procedures, but they made it work. Um, so I don't want you to think that this is my some sort of original design for trying to get off a celestial body. It is tried and true science by Pete Conrad. Ugh. That can't be good for those. Those poor panels. Alright, we're gonna just try to give us a little bit of an oomph here. A little bit of a little bit of gas. Let's get ourselves 
upright. Boom. Almost forgot to do the goo again. So, this time we have at least got our rocket standing up properly. Um, we have our solar panels deployed. We landed successfully on an incredibly difficult landing site. Um, if I had more science experiments, I would definitely try to boost myself off of this terrible sloped area to somewhere a little bit flatter um, to gain maybe like another surface sample just to get those extra science points. But as it is, I think we're going to call this successful and we're going to uh, do our best to head home now. So what we're going to do first is in order to conserve fuel, we're going to use as much of our RCS thrusters as we can. Um, it doesn't particularly matter which heading we choose. We're going to choose, well, actually, I don't want due north. That would be a silly idea. We'll, uh, we'll head 90 because that's our our go-to angle here. Um, we're coming up on the halfway through our motto propellant. Um, and as it stands, we're going to reach an altitude of about six kilometers. third of our fuel left, eight kilometers. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and transmit that. So, so base camp knows that we did make it alive. thirteen kilometers above the surface. Uh, that's the end of the motto propellant fuel. Alright, when we get to the apoapsis in about three minutes we're gonna burn enough to get us into orbit because it would be foolish if we failed to do at least that much. Um, and then to get us home which looks like such a long ways away. But we'll get into orbit first. <coughs> the Highlands. EVA report from the slopes, EVA from above the midlands, EVA from above the slopes, above the highlands. All right. Ah, son of a gun. transferring vessels, or in the case of doing an EVA, resets your... any modules you might have. Um, maneuver nodes, rather, not modules. Right, so let's get ready.
return trip from the moon, we had just about half of one tank. And for this, we should have uh, 1.6 tanks, more or less, to get home. So we are really in good shape here. It's just a matter of finding a course that works. Um, and I'm going to say that coming out from behind the planet is probably our best bet. Whoa. And again, not very much at all. for us to reach uh, escape velocity. Right, so that's 60 meters per second. Eleven days. So if we did this, it would send us this way. But it's just sixty, um, and then a retrograde burn, thirty-nine million should drop that significantly. So that's the plan. Uh, Twenty-eight minutes until that happens. Let's go ahead and get ourselves ready. I am such an idiot. <laughs> You'd think I would learn, and yet here we are. Add maneuver. 60. hours, eight days. That's even better than the one we had set. Done. All right. Let's go ahead and get there. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. I find if I count it aloud, I'm less apt to just frickin' blow by it again. Fifty nine seconds. Make sure we are in staging mode. Solar panels are out, so we got plenty of electrical charge coming around the dark side. And uh, 62 meters per second. And we will execute that at 30. Boom. should be there in 14 hours and we will burn retrograde it 
It looked like we had a second encounter planned with uh, Minmus there. Which would actually make sense, because we're not traveling much faster than Minmus. We'll probably have a moon flyby opportunity, but all of our experiments are full. And uh, I think the direct course is probably the best. Boom. So we will get ourselves set up for that burn. The I if I did not have as much fuel as I have, um, swinging by the moon and using its gravity to do a kind of a reverse slingshot um, would have been an option. Not an ideal option, um, and especially not having a team of people doing the math. Uh, a, a risky option, but it would still at least exist to us and not strand us. Look at us leave Minmus behind. Uh, Kerbin, our ultimate destination. We'll watch the moon orbit a few times around there. Nine hours, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 60 seconds. Almost blew by it again. Uh, good times, good times. So, fire up the engines. Captured by Minmus. Same thing happened leaving the moon, actually. All sorts of crazy hypothetical situations there, none of which that I like. I mean, look at all of that silliness around the moon. So I'm about to leave Minmus to encounter Minmus again, to leave Minmus for a third time. Boom. So that should hopefully keep me on an intercept. I got plenty, plenty of fuel left. I have enough fuel left that if I had the experiments to run, other than just taking temperatures, I could probably land on Minmus a second time and still get home. Which is good. Um, considering that <laughs> that the mission we just did is not not only not what this rocket was designed for, but it wasn't even remotely part of our agenda. We were planning on doing a few launches to the moon in order to grab a couple of landing sites to get some better craft for which to go to Minmus. Um, I do maintain that other than the fact that it's far away, Minmus is a lot easier to land on, but still, it just doesn't feel natural. So now we will begin our long descent towards Kerbin and we will accelerate quite a bit faster than we did during our descent on the Minmus. Six days into our mission, we might actually have a land encounter, and it looks 
by Jove, like we have a chance of landing in the mountain ranges again. Which doesn't mean a whole lot. Again, I don't have a lot of science left to perform. But, I mean, if you have the opportunity, you might as well go for it. Uh, we're at 110. Oh. 100 kilometers. We're going to... Oh, I just had an awful thought. I don't have my top parachute, and I'm going to be coming in awfully fast. Uh, that's okay. I'm not going to panic over that. Things will go fine. Um, this is television, after all, and uh, nobody dies on television. Except for Game of Thrones. And everybody does really like Jebediah, so hopefully, hopefully that is not how this finishes its mission here. We have plenty of fuel though, so we'll be able to slow our descent. I'm going to stop panicking. Jebediah not up. Oh, Alright. Something about being engulfed in flames tends to cheer up my, my Kerbal knots. Holy crap! I think I just got rid of my temperature scan from the moon. Or from Midmus. Like an idiot. Yep, I did. That was very dumb. Very, very dumb. But I was watching the... Oh, that was retarded. Forgive my... Forgive my use of the language, but... The temperature scan from the slopes is such a more valuable bit of information. I just didn't really, like an end user license agreement, I didn't really understand what it was I was saying watching us come up. But Minmus is easy enough to land on, and, uh, uh, all right, it'll be good practice to have to try to match a landing site at some point anyhow. Still kind of upset about that one. And I didn't get a crew report while falling because I was upset about it. But, science must go on. So out we go. Take our service sample. Uh, we're going to get our EVA report. Hard time reaching that ladder. So this mission, fraught with peril, uh, really 
seat of your pants type of mission planning. But hopefully the science will pay off. 498 science for that. EVA report from the Minlands, from the slopes, EVA report, material study from the slopes, temperature scan while flying over the mountains. Did I get a temperature scan from the mountains? Did I even forget to do that? Yep, I did. It's alright, I didn't run all my experiments, so I would have had to go back to the mountains anyhow, and I got greedy with that temperature scan and overrode another one, and it would have been worth more, but such is such is science. And uh, so 498 science earned on that mission. We'll take a quick look at our tech tree here. Uh, 561 to spend. Our last upgrades were on uh, specialized construction and advanced metalworks. So things we can look forward to. Um, composites for building space stations. Um, we've got metamaterials. Um, again, most of this is going to be space station stuff that we're interested in. Um, space station command module. The Mark II lander can. Not a module I particularly like, but it's still it's not a bad module. The large RCS fuel tank is going to be something that uh, I will want for my Apollo style craft that I I do enjoy flying. Um, we've got our nuclear propulsion. Uh, these rockets are amazing for doing uh, long distance flights. Um, rocket motors like this make mission uh, manned missions to Eve and Duna a lot easier. Um, of course, this is blacked out at the moment, but the ability to uh, build our largest engines are going to be in here. Uh, we've got our small parts. Uh, we've got our aerodynamics for spacecrafts. We've got our landing gear. Um, stuff like this we're probably going to want to get just so we can unlock the middle part of the tree. But all of that is beside the point. Uh, we made it successfully to Minmus and home. Uh, we did a, a great landing um, in the same style of landings that Jebediah is becoming famous for. And so we'll, we'll call that a very successful flight. Thanks for watching. See you next time.